I'm CJ with Starter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build this really cool rustic bench. So back to what I was saying. What's up, guys? CJ here from Starter Builds. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how I built this really cool DIY rustic pallet bench. I was inspired by this specific project from Bob at I Like to Make Stuff. I'll have links down in the description below to his specific video as well as how he went about doing this. To start out, you're going to want to go ahead and get two large pallets. You can find these within your local area on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. They're, they're pretty accessible. From there, I went ahead and ripped these down into one-inch strips on the table saw. And now that I have those one-inch strips, we're going to be able to go ahead and glue these up. I recommend using a good amount of glue here because if anyone were to sit on this or if you put large decorations on there, we want to ensure a strong hold. So here we go. Here's me gluing these up and stacking them like a tower. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to want to ensure that we get a nice even clamp, nice even pressure, and even put a couple weights on there to ensure we get a flat bench. After you've completed the glue up and let it sit for a couple of hours, I actually waited a whole day, we can go ahead and remove the clamps. I put two 25 pound weights on top of that just to apply even pressure. This also helps to keep it flat. From here, we're going to want to go ahead and check to see if there's any glue squeeze out that we may have missed. Go ahead and scrape that off. I'm going to go ahead and square up each side of this bench so that we can go ahead and start to create the legs. Here I'm measuring out the different uh, leg pieces that I want. It's pretty straightforward. I went ahead and just cut down one of the under pieces of the pallet directly in half. Made it very simple uh, for creating my legs. So that's what you're going to see me doing here. Just checking to make sure that they're level, checking to make sure they are the same size. And then I repeated this process for the other two legs as well. Next, I ran this through my planer just to make sure we can get it as flat as possible. If you don't have a planer, you could actually use a hand planer or a belt sander. You can pick these up for uh, pretty affordable prices from your local stores. So if you don't have the money to buy a planer, look into getting a hand planer or a belt sander. will definitely help to even out your uh, rustic bench. Our next step is to install the legs and here I'm just tracing out where I'm actually going to be cutting out for those legs to be inserted and to do this I'm going to do this with a jigsaw and I'm just lining these up flush with the end of the bench ensuring that I trace them out and mark where I'm actually going to cut out with the jigsaw.
Lastly, we're going to go ahead and attach our legs here, just ensuring that each leg is flush with the bench. I went ahead and pre-drilled three holes on each leg, and then I went ahead and attached those with two and a half inch screws. So once you have your holes drilled, go ahead and start attaching your legs. Timber! One of my legs just fell off. Go ahead and use those two and a half inch screws to secure your legs in. Clearly I did not do that for the one that fell there. But once you have all four legs attached, we're gonna go ahead and put on some side panels around the bench to give it a little bit more of an aesthetic appeal. Now that you have your legs finished, I'm just cutting some strips for the side of this rustic bench. I went ahead and used a pallet board for the front and the back, and then I'm gonna use these strips for the side, which you'll see me uh, connect here with some brad nails in just a moment. So finally we have our bench here. As you can see, I used one of the pallet boards for the front and the back, and then I used those just little strips with some spacers in between them on the sides. For a free project, I don't think it's a bad build. You could put it outside your house, put some planters on it, or you could put it inside your house and use it as a bench to put your shoes on. Finally, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down. I started with 60 grit, worked all my way up to 220 grit. You just wanna ensure that you sand as, as much as you can because this is pallet wood and it normally is super rough. So if someone were to go ahead and touch it or sit on it, you don't want them to get a splinter or anything like that. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to give this a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys.